good review. But since I'm already up, I think I'm just gonna go to the gym and do cardio so that I can wash my hair. Gross from work. I was not feeling the best after work, but my siblings made me feel better. <laughs> Guys, I went to North Face, 60% off the entire store. Then they gave me a 10% off discount for me, and then no time for being a student. We're gonna go shopping. What is happening? I should have had didn't feel like vlogging but I want my vlogs to be realistic and bad days are normal I'm trying to remind myself that whenever you're starting something new it's going to be hard and it is going to take time to learn and you're not going to be perfect and I'm also trying to internalize that 
I am human and it is okay to make mistakes. I always tell people to not be so hard on themselves. I realize it's a lot easier said than done and when it actually happens to me, it is really really hard to compartmentalize the different aspects of your life and sometimes I forget how much of a physical toll your emotional well-being takes on you. So I wanted today to be really productive but it just didn't turn out that way. But it's currently 8 p.m. and I think I'll try to do a little work and then just call it a night because I've been awake for a really long time. <laughs> I could not get out of bed today. I'm so tired. I didn't know what to get my dad for Christmas so I am taking him and the whole family to a Brazilian steakhouse today This is our dad's Christmas No, don't you worry. <laughs> you can take off the tags. I've been walking around with my scarf like this. If you took it, I took off hers. <laughs> 
Wait! <laughs> it's cold. Let's go outside. You know what? It's falling down. I have a child. I was having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me. This is fine. We're holding hands. Keep each other warm while we stand. One day. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. Wow. It's over. It's so Our first over. time so snowboarding will be off the ski lift. <laughs> Here's a view. Let me give you a Look at what we told. <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> Dude, we got it. We got off the ski lift. Yay. Okay, on the first slope. Rip. We fell down this ski lift. Wait, I got stuck. Grace. 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 Okay. It looks like she's peeing. It was like dreaming we can follow the moon until we reach a place we can stay. Oh, I forgot we had that. Jen and I are gonna try to go down together. If Jen makes me fall, then we fall. It's okay.
this is Mama, and this is Grace. wand for skincare and I got me and my siblings matching touch lens sanitizers. These were quite expensive for what they are which is just sanitizer but I thought it'd be a cute little stocking stuffer. I got my sister an ice face roller also for skincare. The most exciting thing I got the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera. <laughs> I'm so excited to start vlogging with this. I'm currently using the Sony CV-1, which is a great vlogging camera, but I wanted something a bit more small and compact and just easier to hold and more discreet because filming in public is very hard. So I'm very excited to use this. And with that, my mom also got me some new camera stuff, which makes me very happy. But just some new SD cards and micro chip reader. My sibling also got me this um, filming box so I can film more study clips on my desk and it will be easier to prop overhead shots. And then my sibling also got me the Glow Recipe little samples and Drunk Elephant skincare samples. That's everything I got. Oh. Actually, I was also in need of some new shoes so when we went shopping at the mall on our way back from snowboarding my mom bought me these new balances on sale these are the 066s aren't they cute? I feel like the new year comes with a lot of pressure to buy things for your loved ones and plan for the next year but I just wanted to film this portion of the video to remind you that it's okay to slow down and not do things that everyone else is doing. I was gonna plan for 2024, but honestly, after the long holidays, I just don't feel like it. So we'll be doing that a bit later. 2023 was weird. It felt awfully long, but very short at the same time. And so much happened. I graduated, I took the MCAT, which it's crazy to me that I did that. I moved back home. Just so many things happened. There were a lot of goals that I didn't reach, such as reading 14 books this year. I think I read like three. But there are goals that I did reach. I was watching my old Plan With Me video and my goal was to hit 5k on Instagram and 85k on YouTube, but we have surpassed that and that makes me so, so, so happy that our community is growing. That's still just crazy to me that last year we started with 2000 on Instagram. But whether 2023 turned out the way you wanted to or you reached your goals, you didn't reach your goals, just know that at the end of the day, you still learned and you still grew. You rediscovered yourself. You came out a stronger person. You lived life and that is a beautiful thing. There's not one word that can really encapsulate how this year went. I'm still grateful for everything that happened this year. It's also still winter, so I don't think we can expect ourselves right after the holidays to just jump into our goals and, I don't know, go to the gym five times a week and meditate every day. Take this time to rest if you need and don't be discouraged if this part of the year is just slower. That's what winter is for. Winter is cold and it's nature reminding us to slow down. I wanted to share something that I wrote on January 8th, 2023 at 1.32 a.m. I was going through a very, very tough time. The start of the year was just extremely rocky, but to read this and see how much I've grown and all the life I've experienced, 
It's just crazy to me and that's just one of the reasons I love journaling and I wrote this as a letter to myself. Here is my love letter from 2023. Hi gorgeous, where do I even start? It's been a while since you've talked to yourself like this, huh? I know these past few months have been really hard, but you don't really show it because you're supposed to be constantly growing or whatever. Your brain hasn't stopped moving, has it? Analyzing everything, learning, observing, and you just want to know how to shut it off. It's tough, but it's beautiful. The way your mind can think so introspectively, your ability to read and calm others, the self-awareness you hold, it's a gift that doesn't stop giving. But for just a second, look at it from a bird's eye view. It's okay to rest. Leave your gift of a brain for just one second. Do you feel that clarity, that peace? That is what is with you now and that is what you can control. You don't have to hold it up all in your mind. The weight of the world is not up for you to lift. You are a gift to this world and this vast infinite universe and I love you. Love me. Wherever you are at right now, I'm wishing you an amazing 2024 and I hope you take time to reflect on all your accomplishments from 2023. Give yourself a pat on the back for making it through this weird year. Thank you for another year on this lovely channel with you beautiful people and I'll see you in the next one. Stay cozy! Thank you.